Huh. I don't see anything. My anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, huns! Everybody knows that! Whoa, whoa, what are you guys doing? You suck! Uh, uh, we, we, we just, we just want to rock! Welcome to Babble Buddies Northwest! Larry, did we just find Bigfoot? <laughs> we are your hosts! Babble Buddies Northwest! She is Shan's dev! Maybe that's it! Maybe I that's want it. my can scene! And he is Larry King Jr. The, the town, nobody knew what to call it! A lot of tulips here! <laughs> ah, hump these tulips! <laughs> Did you say hump these two? <laughs> Welcome to our show where we'll be all of the things exciting, informative, foolish, and... Incomprehensible! <laughs> Join us as we journey together through the Babble Buddies Northwest podcast, broadcasting to you from the This Is It video production studio. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Babble Buddies Northwest. Episode 9 is here. 2024 is here. <laughs> Our bobbleheads are here. <laughs> Very excited about our bobbleheads. Yes, yes. They're going to take over the show for us. Yes, my, mine doesn't bobble, but that's okay. Oh, she's just a head. <laughs> <laughs> oh. One that bobbles. And, and one, one that, that does that not. <laughs> <laughs> we have a bobble non bobble head. Yeah, that, that is why we are Babble Buddies. This is why we are Babble Buddies. There you buddy. go, because we are community, and not all community is the same. Not all communities bobble. No. <laughs> just said, and only, not all just stand still. And not all well, stand I, still. I, okay, okay. I just wanted to tell you guys that I did pay for everything to both of them to bobble. If your main objective is to make a bobble head now, it should probably bobble. Like, yes, yes. So, But I, I'm i more than willing to take one for the team, yes. and I will not bobble. You will not but bobble. But if you want to see me bobble, here's your bobble. There you go. <laughs> I'm bobbling. And I'm that bobbling. is Shan's bobbling. bobbling. And you got the real life bobble as opposed to just a doll. <laughs> Well, you know what? Um, yes. I love the new year. You know, there's already so many things going on. Do this, do that, new this. But, but yeah, new bobbles, not bobbles. It's out, <laughs> out with the old. In, in with, with the, the bobble. New, in with the bobble. Okay, now he's had, <laughs> you had to pick his to be the one to bobble. You did. I'm gl I'm gonna hold that for the entire year. <laughs> the entire <laughs> year, we're gonna hear about Larry's bobblehead. Watch it. You don't gotta say. You don't gotta hear it. Just watch it. It's visual. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we are a video podcast. This is why we're a video Pacific podcast. Northwest. It wouldn't make sense if it wasn't video. They're like, what are you doing? It's bobbling. Uh, it's bobbling. You have to believe us. Uh, that weird guy's talking again. <laughs> I hear the voice. Oh, goodness. So... Larry. Yes, ma'am. Out with the old, in with the new. Yeah. I think one thing that's old that has stayed around for generations is old wives' tales. No. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you were going to go old wives. <laughs> 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 old wives' tales. I'm like, yes. So what are some old wives' tales? Well, it's funny you should ask. I didn't know wives had tails. Oh. Smack that get on that tail. Smack that, that get on that tail. Hey, hey, some of the wives have nice tails. Oh, Ooh! Well, Mark those are the ones that like to work them buns out. Ah, <laughs> I work time, out. Okay, all right. Um, okay, here's a nice segue from the tail. It's there you go. Heartburn while you're carrying or pregnant with a child. Yes. Your baby's going to be hairy. Is, is that true? Have you heard that one? I have I, not heard that okay, one. Okay, no. Okay. That is different. Well, apparently. They got a hairy baby. Was it Harry <laughs> and the Hendersons? I knew she had heartburn the entire Harry time. And Henderson's <laughs> hairy. So cute. I well, love Harry. Well, apparently his mom had heartburn. I know. <laughs> heartburn. Yes. 82% of women with severe heartburn mm. during pregnancy gave birth to especially, wait for it, Harry babies. Well, why didn't he just get tums? Tum to tum tum tum. It turns out, it turns out the hormones that are known to uh, create the heartburn. Yes. Um, in pregnant also women. Also creates hair follicles. <laughs> they <laughs> are. They affect really? the fetal hair growth. Oh my uh, goodness. Professor you don't need Rogaine, just get heartburn. <laughs> Larry King Jr. is now Larry King Jr. PhD. I'm a scientist. I stayed at a Holiday Inn Express one time. <laughs> Oh, man. So hairy babies. Who knew? Rogaine. <laughs> Out. Heartburn in. <laughs> Out with the old and with the new. <laughs> Can someone get Rogaine on the phone? Oh, my gosh. Here, Al. 
when Dr. Dill's mad. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's our whole business. <laughs> oh, no. Harry babies for the win. Harry babies for the win. You know what, though? Oh, so no. This, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Gee, Larry, you what? Have, you shouldn't have had me thinking. <laughs> now, it, this is for you too, producer Mark. Have you seen an ugly baby? Are there things, such things as ugly baby? Because the answer is yes. Yes. But have yes. you? And people... <laughs> <laughs> my baby the baby right you're like oh that is a that is a that is a child yeah. look at that wow <laughs> no, no. hey buddy well hey, sometimes hey. sometimes they come out wrong and they have like peanut head listen cone head not i'm gonna be honest with head. you peanut head as cone. a parent right <laughs> it's a canal producer <laughs> mark <laughs> every parent though believe their child is amazing and you do because you're in this like that intoxication with your child and you're like i have the best looking child in the world that's not true in all the cases it's true it's not true in all the cases it's okay because your child is growing to beauty right yeah. you're gonna grow into something amazing just like but a fine wine grows right, into right. yes okay sometimes at birth and you showing these pictures you're like ha <laughs> look at that wonderful child i love when they say oh precious that baby's so precious because they have no other words to say <laughs> you're like oh, oh perfect it's ugly. No, we can, you right. can't say that. It is the exterior. It is what is on the inside that matters. So, yeah, hush apparently up, hair y'all. follicles. Hush if up. you had heartburn. <laughs> <laughs> Shan says hush. Yes. Harry and ugly. Harry and, Harry, Harry and ugly. Harry and ugly. All right. <laughs> Not every baby is Harry, but there are some babies that you know. Have, have you seen the baby? Yeah, I said. He's like, I have. How wonderful. <laughs> okay. That's what you say. You That's move a, on. And you move on. Exterior. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Do Just you, say. It. Do you you know that walnuts remove furniture scratches from furniture. furniture? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> okay, let's try that hmm. again. No, Larry. no, I like that. Keep that in there. <laughs> walnuts <laughs> from <laughs> furniture? He's is like, impossible. I'm sorry, Shans. Where does it remove the scratch from? Yeah, well, from where is fr- that from? <laughs> that is not true because I have tons of furniture scratches from children. All right, well. And I've got a, I got a ton of walnuts in the house. Go, no, go get that bag of walnuts. <laughs> be like, we're in the money. Yes, <laughs> yes. All yes, right, yes, I'm going to make my kids clean yes, with walnuts the now. scratches are removable with a walnut. Simply take the nut. <laughs> Larry, you just gotta take the nut. My mind went the other way. He's gotta, I don't know how to take the nut. This is Larry like, taking the nut. He's like, why am I taking the nut? I don't think that's appropriate for me to take the nut. Larry, you have to take the nut. I just don't believe that's how society works. You take the nut, Larry. Come on. Larry, you take the nut and you oh wait, you take the nut and you rub it. And you rub it. Oh my god, my name is now Caitlyn Jenner. I just <laughs> And our social media just went on fire. Oh <laughs> like, I don't know if it's, share. I'm just saying, I don't know if I should be the one taking the nut. I just <laughs> <laughs> no, you take the nut and you rub it. And rub it. Yeah. Is there a genie inside this nut? I just <laughs> <laughs> so you take the nut and okay. rub it yeah. over the scratch surface mm-hmm. until the imperfection magically disappears. Well, really now? Yeah, so you With take the, the nut and you rub it. So rub the nut. Yeah, you rub the nut over the scratch. Over the scratch. Yes, and it'll magically disappear because the oils and texture. Ooh, the and oils. Color of the walnut. Well, what it if allows the it to match? fill in the scratch. But what if the walnut doesn't match? What if I have like cedarwood furniture? Do I just take a <laughs> walnut to do that? <laughs> You'll need to go walnut shopping now. Go walnut you, shopping. I need a wood nut that looks like cedar. <laughs> You'll need to go sort your nuts. <laughs> Okay, move on, move on. No, don't get him started. <laughs> I'm already there. I'm already, you can't get me started. They started hump tulips, and now they got nut going everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to cool it down. Oh we're going to cool it down. <laughs> ice ice does remove dense ice, in carpet. Ice ice, baby? Ice dun, ice, baby. No, no. <laughs> yes, ice removes dense in carpets. De- really? Have you ever found yourself down there on your hands and knees with a spoon trying to get the dent out? No, I've <laughs> never even cared about a dent in my you, carpet. You, wait, what, really? Yeah, if it's a dent in the carpet, I figured the kid, I'm, it's fine. I've never even pulled carpet. No, no. You Is get- it a shaggy carpet? <laughs> Did that carpet need dent and removal? And it has dents. It was like, hello, my carpet has dent. Hey, hey, I'm a dent remover. <laughs> Let me get a walnut. <laughs> I'm going to rub it across this carpet. <laughs> 
because I need the nut on the carpet. <laughs> no, no, you keep the nut on the scratch. Oh, the nut doesn't go on the, the carpet. Ice, no. Okay. The just ice, put the ice, ice baby. Yeah, the ice, ice, the ice for the carpet, and you you put the ice. Um, and let the ice is melting, trickle down well, on the carpet. There you go. Okay. You let it melt down there okay. exactly because it'll make the fibers rise again. <laughs> <laughs> Water make that fiber rise. <laughs> Would you say, is it safe to say that it's lubricated? <laughs> so when you're renewing your carpets. You're re- <laughs> rub the nut to make the carpet no, rise. No, you no, got to rub the nut to, re- <laughs> to, to renew the carpet this to make the fibers so rise. Not how I, I get it. This is, it's all I making have sense knowledge now. here. Yeah. This is knowledge. This is how a male mind works. <laughs> So you say you let it trickle on down <laughs> right into the fibers and the fibers rise on up. <laughs> All right. Well, OK, if the fibers don't oh, okay. rise, oh, I have I have the answer. But what if about you're... what if I just put water on it? Why do I need ice? Can I just put a bucket of water to well, make the fibers rise? Or am I consult. soaking it? Hold on. It, Will I that make think... the carpet too wet? No, it's the, it's the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, the car and then you're going to step in it and you're going to slosh. Well, <laughs> sloshy carpets are good sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you put the the ice in yes. the dent. It okay. melts and it makes the follicles want to rise again. And you can vacuum it out, or you can kind of fluff it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have a professional fluffer on scene here. Got it. It's all making sense to me. That Just, is why we are your video podcast for the Pacific Northwest. I, listen, Knowledge I and am informative. Confused behind the whole thing. <laughs> what about the whole taking the patch out and you're cutting the carpet out and replacing the patch? So this is a cheaper way, I guess. <laughs> Then replacing the patch. Larry, put some ice cubes on it. Larry, if the carpet isn't fully repuffed after you do, <laughs> ah, 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 it just keeps getting better. <laughs> Take a fork to the follicles. <laughs> okay, listen. Give Ouch. them can a we, little Ouch. extra. Can we Ouch. substitute the fork? <laughs> Take a fork to the follicles. Give them a, he- a little bit of extra help. A little extra help, huh? Yeah, yeah, extra help. Extra yeah. help. So just okay. by gently pulling up on them. <laughs> but you, you have to pull up do on you, your follicles do your gently. Sweet, do you sweet talk it? Come on, follicles. Less something for you. Less something for you. So if your dent. The ice cubes. <laughs> if your dent doesn't rise the appropriate way. Then it's incompetent. <laughs> <laughs> you need to assist with a I'm little more. I'm not going to say another word. I know you ain't for it, Mark. There's a, there's a blue pill for that. <laughs> So a New Year's tradition kind of started, okay. just, you know, out with the old, in with the new, get in the, the car, the go new. for a drive. Yeah. Ended up in Thorpe, Washington. Thorpe. 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 And uh, that's where they have the long hoses. <laughs> so did these long hoses help these carpet fibers when it had dents in them? Or was the long hoses how these carpets had dents? I'm just trying to figure out. <laughs> no, it helps the slushy carpet. Well, slushy carpets sometimes need long hoses to help them fibers rise. <laughs> But long hoses in Thorpe, Washington. Long, long hoses at the gas station. At, oh, <laughs> what, is, what is that? No, when I, you, I'm going to park a mile away. I need long hoses. I don't want to park close. Hey, when you pull in, baby, they are bragging. They oh, have the, the big hoses? sign up. If it's a long hose, <laughs> what is, long hose. <laughs> it's a man walking around with hose. What a beautiful car like you do with the hose so short. And boom, shoulder. <laughs> Why you need a long hose? Park your car across the street. I bet I get it. <laughs> it's a thing. It's a thing. It benefits consumers to help get them in and out faster. How? With By having long a long hose? hose? With the long hose. I don't see the time difference. You got to park a mile away. Take that hose, go a mile across the street, fill that car up over there. Oh, yes. It's so you can go on either side of the car without waiting for someone to move. Oh. So you go where the gas tank is. That makes sense. Yes. Or, hear me out. You could just probably pull in on the side of your tank. <laughs> right, <laughs> but if someone's there, and if you have three other people and three stations, and the one with the opposite side, if you do had you a park, short hose, do you, you could do this. you park next to the car? Excuse me, sir. You use a short hose? I'll go across you with that long, long hose. hose. I like my hose longer than yours. Well, <laughs> never seen before. Hey, so. I did it. I get it. It makes sense. And I can see. Producer Mark used the long hose. He used the long hose. But <laughs> he's like, yeah. Give me the long hose. I researched the long hose okay. because Did you that? I was Did jaw dropped. <laughs> oh, oh my god! There is Wait. a what? Jaw drop. You have a what? What type of hose? Do you, a long hose? You don't say. Apparently, <laughs> Costco, which is very big here in the Pacific Northwest, uses long hoses for every station. 
I'm I can't confirm it's every long hoses. It's for consumers. I, 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 it, it, it's, it is for some cons- <laughs> certain consumers like long hoses. I get it. <laughs> but I'll just say, OK, so this is the actual thing. Yes. So you can park on. So you can just pull up no matter what side your gas tank is on. Yes. But I think most people kind of know where their gas tank is on. What side? But if it's not available. You can use the long hose if you're in Thorpe, Washington, or apparently yeah, and Thorpe, 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 Washington. Thorpe, Thorpe, Washington. Thorpe, yeah, Thorpe. They got a giant flag. It's they, awesome. They got long hose and giant things. Long huh? hose and giant, giant things. Baby. All right, I, I see. What? That's why it's Go going ahead, to be a babble, buddy. That's it, Thorpe, Washington. <laughs> All right. So, Larry, Larry. Hose, speaking of hose. gas stations hose. and things that you see out and about yeah. on the highways and mm. byways, do you know of the red flag? When you're hauling something, the rule, it's an actual law that you're supposed to put if something's too far off the side or the back of your vehicle, of the said hauling vehicle. Yes. You are supposed to put a red flag on it. I did not know that. You did not. No. Do they not red flag hauls in East Coast? No, no. We just put long hoses across them. <laughs> it's an East Coast thing. Uh, okay. a, we just long holes and everything around here. <laughs> long holes for everybody. <laughs> no, but I didn't know that. So red no, flag. If, it, if it's four inches off the sides, or I believe four <laughs> feet off the back. So if it's girthy. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't, oh, I would think an orange flag would be more appropriate, well, right? Like construction rightly co- red or orange fluorescent. Oh, okay. Yes. Fluorescent. What if but, I went neon pink? That's kind of f- blight and fluorescent. I would, I'm a big fan of fluorescence so yeah. i would i would go with that okay do but it. in my travels yes i have only once seen someone not use a orange red or fluorescent flag they really? used an article of clothing <laughs> oh, 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 do goodness. you know what article of clothing that may have been i'm hoping this uh, okay, i'm gonna let you say it but i, I have thoughts <laughs> you they're, have thoughts they're probably wild thoughts <laughs> Was it someone britches? It was like, All right, give me a thought. It was britches. I'm thinking it was yes, like somebody yes. had some red long johns. You seen these long johns? Oh, no, it was just in the, the underwear. It was the boxer briefs. The <laughs> Bright red. <laughs> and I, I pull up and I'm like, oh, cool, he's got a red flag. This is oh, great. Right. And I'm like, my, my eyes like focusing. When like a- but when you're doing that, these things better be clean. Sir, you're... <laughs> oh, your stained filled out. flag is in the back it's, it's stained out. filled <laughs> so red boxer briefs for the win well, that works there you go Perfect. then so, you meet rcw 46.37.140 that's it listen guys to get that code because I don't remember rwc <laughs> red undergarments <laughs> hanging off the back dot cod <laughs> dot code junior so I'm hearing this now it's okay for you guys if you have something that's four inches off to the side Four off to the back to get your red britches and put them on the back. Red. Did you or need one or four. Yeah. You, well, if you have neon britches, we'd like to see that too. That'd be funny. We, I don't, Why not? don't have people send us pictures of their britches. I want to see neon britches. I want to see what happens with that. These are my neon britches. <laughs> I use these when I go long holes. Oh, Larry. Oh my goodness. Send the long britches. Britches. Hold Don't don't send them to me though. Send them to Shaz. I don't want to see your britches. I don't want to see a bridge. I have a bobblehead already. <laughs> <laughs> so you remember, Larry? This is yes. hilarious. There, there's hilarious. A, it huh? is hilarious. I'm already built in. <laughs> uh, you are built in because um, way back in um, one of our previous episodes, um, I talked to you about being at the post office, and I saw yes. the person with the boxes. Yep. And I'm like, oh my gosh, do they need help? Are they going to fall? Yep. And you said your first thought was Tetris. Yes. Boop 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 boop. boop and that was yes. your first thought. Yes. A kid solved. Tetris. I saw that. Yes. He is now our new leader. Yes, he's like 13, 13 years old. 13 years old. He's that, our leader. That, he's yes. That, that, that blue, blue scooty, blue scuddy. Yes, I seen it, and I was I sent it to all of my friends in my Tetris group, right? It's a Tetris group of friends because we're somewhat semi-nerds who possibly like long holders from Thorpe. But we're but I, I said, I said, we have a new leader. Guys, 13, beat this game. I am highly upset because I spent hours on this game and never, I would say, beat it or completed. it. He's done something that no one's ever done. I've tried to be Tetris. I got frustrated and broke my Nintendo before. It's way I have may have had an attitude. You problem. you brought yourself up from that moment. I have. Yeah. I have. Because you you realize that good sportsmanship. Yes. And good gaming ship. And good gaming. You don't ships. throw and break stuff. Right. And now, that leads me to something. At eleven, I didn't know that. Well, <laughs> you know that maybe you should have been a Benson Bruin. I should have been a Benson Bruin. Absolutely. Yes, the Benson Bruins Youth Football Organization Station. is mm-hmm. amazing. They Phenomenal. have uh, the My Benson word. Bruins cheerleaders. Yes. 
But this organization, we've talked about it before. Top Down. Top Down is amazing Top. from their yeah. sportsmanship, their yes. ethics, everything, everything the way Give they run. Give back to the community to the and community. how they're teaching these young athletes, right? How to not only be athletes, but be great contributors to society. I love it. I believe love it. you had a wonderful interview. I, did I speak to someone I from the organization? I think you did. What an exciting day. We have Thomas, the vice president of the Benson Bruins. Now, Thomas, I have to ask you about the hit heard around the youth football world. It was voted the 2023 Play of the Year by the uh, Youth Football Network. What was your initial reaction when you saw Sean's game-changing hit? Man, let me tell you, it was, like you said, the hit around the nation, around the world. Uh, we were down, our 11U team was down in Southern California playing the Island Boy Braves, who at the time was the number three ranked team on the West Coast. And we were in a dogfight. And that hit that Sean laid on that, on that running back, I mean, it turned the game. Uh, I mean, the excitement that erupted on the sideline, on the field, I mean, it was, okay, they're done. Here we go. <laughs> and if it wasn't for that hit by Mr. Navallo, I mean, who knows what, what the outcome of that game would have been, but it was great, the excitement. Perfect, we loved it. When we watched it, I jumped out of my chair. It was such a good hit. I was like, man, he went down, he lowered his show, he got lower than the, uh, the re receiver running back there, but it, he drove through. So he followed through and he wrapped up. He didn't try to go for one of the big hits where he just shoulders, he wrapped up. It was a tremendous hit. You teach them well, Thomas, you teach them well. Now, when the hit happened, did you know at that moment, you was like, oh, this is special. This is game changing. This is it for us. Well, at the moment, yeah, we knew it was a game changer because the Island Boys were driving down the field. And in fact, they were in our, in their, in our red zone. And when Sean made that hit, like you said, not only did he wrap up and drive through him, he jarred that ball loose. And we were fortunate enough to recover that, that fumble. And, you know, the subsequent drive, we went down and scored. And I mean, it was a, it was a 12 point turnaround. It was, it was a tremendous play. Now, can you speak to Sean's character? What is it about this young man that makes him so special? One of the things about Sean and the rest of his teammates is they are very humble. I mean, for those who know about this Benson Bruins team, this is, this, they are nationally known. Yeah. And, you know, for us to go down to Southern California like we did, I mean, the, the humility that they, that they shown. I mean, after that play, what you didn't see is that Sean didn't get up, he didn't show bow, he didn't take off his helmet, he wasn't talking any type of trash. It was, that was, I just took care of business. Now yeah. let's go get this. Yeah. And that's the best thing about this team is how humble they are. And they work hard every day, every week, every month. And Sean's character is just a personification of the entire team and the coaching staff. I was just about to say, it, that comes from coaching. That is stems from coaching parenting from the top of the organization down. So let's take a round of applause, round of applause. I love that, I love that. Now Thomas, I have, I do have to ask this. Now, has any other player won this prestigious award with the uh, play of the year, another Benson Bruin? Has this happened before or was this the first time? Uh, in fact, this is the first time anybody in the, since 1977 that anyone within the Benson organization has received a individual national award. And so our Sean Navallo Jr., number 24, first one ever for the Benson Bruins. That is so special. This is something memorable for not just Sean, but for the whole team, right? And this yes. carry, oh, this is, oh, beautiful. Round of applause again. Round of applause again. You're doing great work over there, Thomas. I've been I'm just about to strap up. I feel like I can play, but I can't because my knees will break. So. <laughs> but I feel good about it. And then we'd have Babble Buddy down. <laughs> we will have a Babble Buddy down. Now, Thomas, with this organization, right, how can uh, registration happen for any other families that want to maybe get their children involved in the Benson Bruins program? So with the Benson Bruins program, you know, we are a nonprofit. And as a nonprofit, we take anyone and everyone who wants to play football for us and to cheer for us. And so one of the best ways right now to, to find us is either on our website, 
which is brinsonbruins.com. They can also find us on Instagram and uh, uh, Facebook. Okay. And they can send us an email at bensonbruins at yahoo.com. Uh, they can uh, direct message us or FaceTime message us through uh, those platforms as well. Fantastic. And we'll definitely put a link up. Uh, so everybody, if you have children that want to be a part of a great organization, talk to Thomas. Talk to the Benson Bruins. Oh. Can I ask one question? Yeah, oh, we're not going to finish. Okay. Uh, <laughs> do, you, do you have a, ca a tap out? Do you have to limit spaces? We do. Uh, so we... So we try not to go above 35 kids per level with the exception of our 6U. Our 6U team, we try not to go above 15 because of playing time and things like that. Um, but what's going to be different this year is we believe we may have enough kids to fill two teams at the uh, 8U level and possibly at the 10 level. So we might be taking uh, up to 60 kids on those two uh, age levels. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, yeah, so you can be part of a championship organization from the top down. Yeah, so as an example, our, our Avenue team will now be 12 you next season. Uh, they are obviously our national team. We have a team coming in at the 10 level that were that played na at that national level at 9U. And so now we're gonna have at least two nationally ranked teams coming into next season. Now, Thomas, we all know winning is fun, right? And uh, the Benson Bruins are humble, but yet they like to have fun. So talk to me about a little bit of the celebrations. Do you guys have any dance moves in the locker room after winning the game? Who's the locker room DJ? Yes, winning is, is a lot of fun. But we stress more on the development and, uh, and the cultivation of our kids on and off the field. And, you know, we do mix in business with, with pleasure. So, yeah, we have a lot of dancing going on in the, in the locker room. Uh, after practices, you know, especially during the summer, we have water balloon fights. We bring out the squirt guns. Uh, we do dance off between the parents and the kids, you know, throughout the season and things like that. And then throughout the season as well, we do try to get together as a team, each individual team, and they kind of have their uh, parent night out or kids night out, where we just gather at each other's uh, houses and we just have fun watching film and eating and things like that, so. I love it, see, because you're building camaraderie, right? And this organization, you're teaching them the discipline, you're teaching them the correct thing, but you're teaching them about life, right? You're building lifelong friendships and, and brotherhood and familyhood. I'm beyond proud to say that we are feel more and more each each day, each engagement, that we are part of the Benson Bruins family and it's organization, family. Yes. and it is absolutely wonderful. And we just thank you for welcoming us in, and we can't yes. wait to just go out and explore and give back and enjoy the Benson Bruins exactly. organization. Let's go Bruins, let's, yes, go. let's go! Thomas, there seems to be some other exciting news coming from the Benson Bruins alumni. Would you like, would you care to share? Yes, definitely. You know, this is almost seems like this is a year of the Bruin. Uh, one of our most recent uh, alumni, Jason Brown, he is a running back at O'Day High School who was just named by NBC Sports as the offensive player, or he may be All-American Offensive Player of the Year. Ooh, clap that up! NBC Sports, it's a big deal, it's NBC Sports! Yes, we are very proud of what Jason has accomplished at uh, O'Day, yes. and we look forward to seeing him in college. But yeah, making All-American, first time for the Benson Bruins, which is great. Another first for Brinson Bruin. Clap it up. Yes. It's the year of the Bruin. He's correct. I love year of the Bruins. Oh, year of the Bruins. I see the hashtag now. I'm, I'm going to make a shirt. Oh, <laughs> we should. Boom. <laughs> Any other exciting news, Thomas? I'm feeling like there's more. I'm, I'm itching. Former Benson Bruins alumni, Corbin Walker, and his U University of Montana football team are playing for the FCS National Championship. Next. And you know, we're sending our well wishes and uh, good luck to to Corbin and the rest of the, of the Grizzlies at the University of Montana. For this one, I am a fan 
of the Grizzlies, right? Let's go Bruins, let's go. Oh, Thomas, thank you so much for your time. Any shout outs you'd like to give, anything that you would like to say, please feel free. Yeah, thank you. First and foremost, you know, we do want to thank Babel Buddies Northwest for being uh, the 2024 exclusive sponsor of our cheerleading squad. We greatly appreciate Ooh. everything that you guys will bring to this organization, highlighting us, highlighting our kids, what we do in the community, and more importantly, your contribution to our cheer squad. So thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I would like to give a shout out to all of our coaches, uh, the team moms who are paramount in everything that we do, our 2024 executive board and general board meeting uh, members, and then also I'd like to uh, thank all of our sponsors going into 2024, and that would be Renton Licensing, The Melrose Grill, Paca Polynesian Tattoo, uh, Torero Mexican Restaurant, and Teamsters Local 763. Thank you for, your, for everything you do for us this upcoming season. Wow, Benson Bruins organization. I know, what a great example for all youth football and cheer organizations. Phenomenal. Babble Buddies. Uh-oh. Babble Buddies. 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 We just want to rock! This is Nate Crawford on guitar for Fireball Sunset. Stan Hickson, lead singer, Fireball Sunset. I am Sam Bamadotto, drummer for Fireball Sunset. Unfortunately, bass player Ben Paul could not be here tonight. But this is the world premiere of our brand new video, Under Control, from our latest release, Blistering Sun. Let's rock and roll!
is it? It's unhuman time. I know these things. Larry, I'm ready. Hold on. Your PhD. <laughs> I'm ready. Larry. I think I'm ready. Hold on. Larry. Yes. Why should you put your calendar in the freezer? What for frozen dates? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Frozen <laughs> ice cold dates. I don't know. So you can start the new year off cool. <laughs> I'm already cool. I'm sorry. Let me go. Done. <laughs> All right. I'm going to bring it in with my um, bad dad joke time. <laughs> yeah. So, Shant, why do you need a jeweler on New Year's Eve? Is it because there's so many people getting proposed to? Oh, that'd be the sweet answer. No, but it's to ring in the new year. Ah! <laughs> ring it in. Ring, ring it in. Ring it in. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that deserves a double. Ba -da well, Dad jokes for the win. I tell you what, bad jokes always win. Bad jokes always win. And that is the thing. The, yes. the, the, the new year has kind of started off with that. Blue, 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 blue. And it's going to blow up like. Ka -ka -ka -ka. Blue. Ka -boom. Because we like have fireworks. had the golden doodle. Go golden doodle? Yeah, $8,500 in cash. Did you say what now? Yeah, apparently this nice couple, I don't know where they're at, um, they have a golden doodle. Yeah. And they've been saving up money for some home repairs. Okay. And they went and got the money out of the bank. Yeah. Guy put it on the countertop, went off to do some chores around the house, came back. <laughs> Don't golden say Golden doodle eating. Ate cat. the moolah. Yes. The golden doodle with the moolah. So how do you think they got their cash back when they found out that if the bank they called their bank, and the yeah. bank said, if you bring it to us, you can even tape it together as long as the serial numbers are all intact. Let's, let's They go, will take it back, let's, regardless let's, of the condition. Let's go back to... <laughs> let's go back to how the golden doodle was like, you got chips on the table. Ah! I scoff at you. Is that cash? Is that cash? Yeah. Cash. Well, the cash cold. It's what like, I need. Yes, it <laughs> Was it like with chocolate? Like, what did the dog was like? I Hello, want money. money. That's lots it. and the lots money, of money. money. It's like, let me. <laughs> Good, yeah. It took about three or four days. Okay. They got it out. It came out kind of came out a little balled up and I just it was balled up, Larry. Let's go back to what you said. The bank takes it in any kind of condition. Any kind of condition. Just put this <laughs> as long as you put the serial numbers back together, oh you my are God. good. Hey, this I got is a little bit of formative part of Babel, buddy. I got a little quest. bit of idiot money. And you put an S in front of that. And he was like, you don't worry about it. Serial numbers match. Let me put my gas mask on. We'll take it. We'll ah. take it. So they, they got some of the money was balled up. They got it. They pieced it all together. They matched the serial numbers. I'm I not believe... piecing any of that together. I don't even like it picking up my dog I dropping think... it now. No, I think they came out at around 35.50. I pick them up, though. I do. 35.50. They retrieved from the doodle. It was a curious doodle. The, the doodle, like, let me, let me send this envelope. Yeah. Oh, that's some money in there. And then he had to nibble $35 out. He 35 3500 $3,500. $3,500? Yes. I would have sold the golden yes. doodle. Yeah. <laughs> he would have been sold. I'm sorry. He'd have been on eBay that day. <laughs> they, they they retrieved their money. They're going to oh get those goodness. home repairs done. And the golden doodle is You could have made that golden doodle do them repairs. I need to get on this roof. I need to try on that balcony. Have a good one. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs>